as you're welcome back to this youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you a particular method to convert your text file into speech using some platforms called text to speech services ttf services ttf services are basically platforms that allow you to convert text files into speech using the power of artificial intelligence there are two separate videos on my channel i'll put the link to this video in the description likewise you can watch them also where i describe how you can use this service on one platform called morph.ai in those previous videos we use a disposable email to sign up or get an account on morph.ai it's actually a premium platform but i have a particular method by which i can use it and then i would at least be able to use it for free the 10 minutes service which was given i'll be able to use it and i'll be able to download so i would be using another email platform to register on this service today and i want you to follow through so that you can be likewise able to sign up and then use this particular platform in the previous video we used a particular platform called 10 minute mail but today we'll be using this new platform this platform is called email nato and uh, i'll be using it to sign up here so i'm um, what you're going to do is i'm going to leave a link to all this platform in the description of this video just check the description of the video you can see all the links there so you can use them to basically sign up and start using this platform both morph.ai and then this email later if you have not subscribed to this channel please i urge you to consider subscribing to this channel and turn on post notifications so you will definitely be informed anytime a new video drops on this platform called email later what you just do is this platform gives temporary just like it's written here disposable gmail addresses so you can use this or you can click on this generate new once you click on generate new it will generate as you can see it has generated a new gmail address for me so you can click on new it will generate a lot of domains also so let me use this i would want to copy this gmail address just copy it just copy the gmail address and then click on go all right so once you do that just come back here and then Put the email address the copied email address all right so just click on sign up so once you click on sign up now all right so it says your email has not been verified yet so what i'll just do here is come back to email later just you can just click on this reload once you click on reload you're gonna wait for some minutes so we have our email addresses email yeah we have our emails inside the email box now so once you open it it says hi hello you're one step away from creating amazing voiceover click on the link here too so you just click this link in order to be able to verify your email address so once you click on the link it opens the morph studio for you so once the morph studio is open so it says if you look at it it says you have 10 minutes of 10 minutes available so you have 10 minutes free of text to speech service to be able to create so this is basically what the back end of the dashboard of the account looks like so we're going to go ahead now to create a text to speech file but in order to convert a text to text file into a speech file so what i need is i need my text file so i have a text file ready here so i'm going to pull up some of this i'll pull up some of this okay so i'll just come back to my morph studio and it says enter your text here so you go to enter your text into your text box. before we enter our text into this text box there's a need to familiarize ourselves with basically with what the platform looks like so we'll come to this explore ai voices so once you get to this explore ai voices so you can use this it says choose from 120 plus voices in 20 languages you have different sex you have the either the male or female and then different age groups you have nate you have to realm some of them are only available in the pro plan that is when you upgrade you'll be able to use some of them and some are available for use either in the free plan or in the program but i like using nate so i'm going to select nate so you could change the pitch you could change the speed you could add a percent you could do a whole lot of manipulation so but i'm going to oh sorry i'm going to paste my all right so i'll paste my text file so it's saying split scripts by paragraphs don't split sentences split. so i'm just gonna tell you to paste my script 
so yep i have my script pasted here so once your script is pasted like this you have to go through the script in order to ensure correctness when it comes to you have the right punctuations you have the right full stops and a host of other things now once that is done once that is done you can you can now play each individual text block you just you can play it so it's going to render the whole file the whole text document as a single file that is what it's basically doing right now so it's rendering it as a it's just like it says it's building preview so anger is an emotion experienced by kids and adults alike when something or someone interferes with an individual in a negative manner it can cause them to become angry anger is a normal response to such a situation however anger can be classed as a mild or intense irritation all right let me not trash this too much i'll put a pause to this so if you if you come to this side and click on download it's gonna this is what it's gonna tell you voice only single file you can choose all these things and then click on download but it's going to tell you that you basically have to upgrade before you can download this file so this is where the actual magic comes in and i want you to look at this very very well so the first method is this once we once we have a speech preview built like this just like we have played and we have seen it so what you're going to click is you're going to click something on your keyboard just click, click ctrl shift and i so once you click on ctrl shift and i it's going to pull up the developer mode on the particular tab that you're basically working on so you have to ensure that the developer mode is in network and then media so it's a network and media so once that is done what you just do is you're going to play this file you're going to press play on this file as you're playing, pressing play on this file, ensure that you keep a watch on this window, on this developer window, because what we're going to do is the fact that your file, your text to speech file is going to drop in this developer window. So here we go. Just look. Depending on. All right. So this is my file. It's tagged output.wav, the WAV file. So this is it. This is the file that I just built. So what you just do now is you just right click on this file so once you right click on this file you say open a new tab so once it opens in a new anchor tab, is an emotion experienced by so this is a 45 seconds this is a 45 seconds file which i built so it has these three dots just click on these three dots and then click on download and then immediately you have your file so this is my text to speech file which i have built for free ordinarily i would not have been able to download this if not for this method which i have used so i can now close my developer window and then we'll move to the second strategy strategy basically involves installing this particular chrome extension the name of the chrome extension is called chrome module capture and it's this is it chrome module capture so you are going to install this chrome extension so what this chrome extension basically does is the fact that it is going to record any audio that is being played on the current tab with which you're working so that is what we're doing and we're using the second strategy based on the fact that a lot of people might have issues with the first one once they started playing the file it did not drop in the developer window but it actually drops but it's just a matter of time it requires some level of patience you have to play the file i mean the created file like twice over and over before it's gonna drop so but even if that doesn't work definitely this is work so i have installed the file i'll pin it i have installed the extension right now so i'll definitely pin it and then i'll come back to the my account dashboard so once i get to my account dashboard what i'm going to do is this so here is my chrome audio capture this is the extension so what you're going to do is immediately you start you press play on your dashboard you just press start capture likewise here yeah. or you can use the hotkeys the hotkey says to start capturing on the current tab you use ctrl shift plus s and then to stop capture then you can use ctrl shift plus x but i'm just going to use this so what i want to do is this so once i start playing like this just watch me gently once i once i start playing it like this i'm going to take it back to the beginning so immediately i start playing it i'm going to pull up my chrome audio capture so let's go 
Anger is an emotion experienced by kids and adults alike. When something or someone interferes with an individual in a negative manner, it can cause them to become angry. Anger is a normal response to such a situation. However, anger can be classed as a mild or intense irritation. Depending on the individual, the circumstance and their emotions, anger may cause a person to become enraged or even furious. People who become angry behave in different ways. Some lash out or become extremely defensive. Other people t Once they... Once it is... It has finished playing, so you just go to save capture. So the Chrome Audio Capture is going to save your particular file and then I'm going to say save capture then the particular file recorded file is going to drop on my laptop so I'll just name it something so I'll say I'll tell it to drop on my so here you have your file so you can play this file and it's the exact replica of the file or the text-to-speech file which you actually build so this is the basic way which you can actually use the method that you can use in order to be able to download it's actually the same thing as what has been described in the two previous videos but the only addition at this point is that is the disposable email platform which i use now is different from the one i used previously so let me know what you feel about this particular strategy if you're able to use it let me know in the comment section if you are not able to use them or if you have any information more information on this you can also let me know in the comment section Please ensure that you subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notifications so that any more educative videos you will definitely be updated. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.